Hey, Coach Duffy here. I'd like to take a minute today to talk about uh, uh, corrective exercises for um, what's called the protracted shoulder girdle. Um, what that pretty much means is uh, if you take a look at somebody, if, if their upper body and their shoulders are rounded forward, and if their palms are facing back, that's a pretty good indicator that, that they've got their shoulders that are, that are pulling forward. Um, and the two biggest reasons for this is, is tight musculature up front. Um, we're talking about your pecs, uh, so your pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, um, anterior delts, which are the front of the shoulders, uh, serratus anterior, these muscles through here, and then your latissimus dorsi, which are the big uh, back muscles on the sides. Um, weak muscles, you can kind of guess, are going to be in the back part. So we're talking about, we're talking about mid traps, we're talking about the rhomboids, kind of down the upper uh, mid back, and we're also talking about the rear delts as well, the back of the shoulders. Um, I'd like to take, uh, take some time to talk about corrective stretches, exercises, and then we'll even get into a little bit of uh, myofascial release on, on, this, on the foam roller as well. So uh, I'd like to start out with just some dynamic flexibility. Um, I'm gonna grab this, this PVC pipe here. You can use a broom handle or grab a PVC pipe from Lowe's and, and cut it to your, uh, your good length. The wider your hands are on this, the easier it's gonna be. So start with wide hands, and you're just gonna get a good stretch all the way around and back, and making sure that those arms stay nice and straight. You can start inching your hands in a little bit to make that stretch a little bit deeper, and you'll feel it right through the shoulders and chest, wherever you're most tight. Um, next thing, I'm gonna bring this stability ball over. And on the ground, what we're gonna do is just kind of get a good stretch for the pec. We're gonna go down as that arm is sitting up on top and stretching through. And you should come up each time just to give it a little relax and then stretch. So I'm turning pretty much away from that stability ball. Then obviously you're gonna do it both sides. Brace yourself with the other hand on the ground just kind of open yourself up away from that, away from that ball. Okay, next one, gonna be on this ball as well. Think about a, uh, a gymnastics bridge. If you're going back and stretching, you're gonna be here, and then reaching back towards the ground, and just be careful that you don't do a tumble backwards. But what, what you're eventually trying to do is try to get your hands to the ground on this back bridge position. And the more comfortable you get, the closer that you'll get. And you'll feel everything from your back up through your upper back and traps and chest opening up. Um, so that's a good one as well. This one is best to do against, against a flat wall, but I'm just gonna kinda show you in air here. This is just a, a, your scapula, the two, the two winged bones on your back. That's kinda what you're concentrating on here, is having them come up and then come all the way back down. And a good way to do this is, like I said, up against the wall, make sure that your back is nice and flat up against that wall. And then you're just gonna go through a full range of motion trying to hold your shoulder blades back and your chest out and just going through that range like that. Okay, uh, on to some motor control exercises. A um, Couple things with, uh, with the dumbbells. This is just a, a bent over, um, I call it a complex or like a matrix. So there's a couple different exercises within this one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a good position with your back flat and your chest out. We're gonna pull it up we're gonna externally rotate, then we're gonna punch it out, then bring it back in, and then rotate, and then bring it right back down. I'll do a couple more, a couple more reps for you. Pull it, rotate, punch, back, rotate, down. Keep that good position with your spine. Pull, rotate, punch, back, down, and then reset. Use, use some pretty light weights. It's, it's kind of a difficult exercise. Okay, next one's gonna be on the ground. We're gonna go through uh, what I call it, think about letters, I's, T's, Y's, A's, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Once you get down, 
I'm gonna start with these dumbbells light again. These are five pounds. You don't need much. You might even wanna just start with your body weight. You're gonna start with an eye, so it's coming up off the ground. Okay, your next one's gonna be a Y, so spread them out a little bit. You wanna do anywhere from, from 10 to 20 reps on each. Here's your T. And then all the way down into an A, or some sort of that, some, some version of an A. Thumbs are up, raise them up, raise them up, raise them up. You'll notice that my chin stays on the ground for each one of those. Then you're gonna pull them all together. So you're gonna start at the top, and then go down and up, down and up. So you're touching the weights together at the top, and then touching your hips at the bottom, going through that full range motion. Really try to keep uh, the dumbbells off the ground the whole time. Okay, into some, uh, some strengthening exercises. <clears throat> Grab some other dumbbells here. This is gonna be a bent over row. You probably have seen this one before, but that same good posture, bent over and rowing it up. Pull it, pull it, just like that. Next one you wanna throw in there, some sort of inverted row. I'm gonna use this TRX in back of me. You can use a bar that's, uh, that's fixed to a, to a Smith machine. Um, you can use bands, any type of full pulling movement. So using the TRX, you're gonna, you're gonna do something like this. Walk your feet under, pull it back, pull it back, just like that. All these exercises, you should be able to get at least 10, work your way up to 20, um, and, and you know start with lighter weights, work to heavier. Um, one more strengthening, strengthening exercise, reverse fly. You can do it two ways, palms facing down the whole time. The other good way to do it is have the thumbs up. Thumbs up, just like that. All right, a couple static stretches. These are best to do after your workout. So just holding a certain stretch. A great way to do this one is actually in a doorway. Pretend that this is a doorway right here. Same idea. You don't have to have a doorway, but something like this to where you're, you're opening it up just like this and you're holding. And then you can go one at a time that way you can kind of just isolate that one side. And you're turning away from the door frame or whatever you're holding on to. It can be a wall at your house. Okay, last three things are gonna be with this foam roller. It's a myofascial release. Again, the tightest muscles that you wanna to try to work out. Pecs, lats, down through here, and then your serratus. I'm gonna show you those three. Gonna be on the ground. Work on just one side at a time. So you're just rolling that pectoralis major and minor, going back and forth, chest muscle, just working that nice and slow, getting that deep stretch. Then you can go right into your serratus, a little bit lower into the side. Think about the front of your ribs kind of, and off to the side a little bit. Then if you go a little bit more, rotate it to the side onto that bigger muscle, that lat muscle, and you can travel all the way up into the shoulder with this one and hit different angles too. A little bit on the inside, a little bit more towards the back, and then travel all the way down. That, that muscle travels pretty much the length of your, the side and outside of your back. I'm just working it like that. So there's some stretches and exercises, strengthening exercises to help with that protracted shoulder girl. Thanks.